What's going on, guys? Chase Daniel here. This is the Chase Daniel Show. Huge shout out to my Patreon page. Appreciate you guys. It's a lot deeper of a dive over there on my Patreon page for these breakdowns. We dive into the nuances of NFL offenses. Uh, we do schematic breakdowns. We do a little bit of everything, but it's a lot deeper dive. Why don't you head over there and check it out? But today, we're going to break down Justin Fields. Yes, Justin Fields again. Thought he played okay. And this had a little bit to do with how good of a defense Cleveland was. Uh, the defense for Chicago played absolutely insane. Let's break it down right here, right now. All right, Justin Fields. Can say very good Cleveland Browns defense. First play of the game. Let it fly. Okay, it's raining. DJ Moore beat him. Okay, first of all, I don't know why. Is this DB... Watch this. What the, is this DB doing the sword like lock? Dude, it was just a bad throw. Um, okay, so anyway, first play of the game. I like this. Like rain. Okay, and they just said, hey, we're going to put eight guys in the box. We're going to try to stop the run. A heavy play action first play. DJ Moore swipes him inside. He's got this guy open. Okay, if it's not raining and Justin's not wearing gloves, I think he makes this throw. But I love the fact that Luke Getze decided, hey, you know what? First play of the game, we know that – look how many people are inside these hashes right here. Like almost the entire field except here. I like the inside release go. Would just love to see Justin throw this on the inside a little bit more. Okay, and it also does not help when your right tackle <clears throat> is doing that right there. Okay, it was wet a little bit. It was slippery. Okay, really good job by 99 right there. And Justin has a guy right in his face, not able to get enough on it. Miss throw. So here we go, a little motion over. Everyone's asking why is Cole Komet touching his ass? Well, on silent count, okay, he's probably going to be one of the last ones off because he's looking in at the ball. So he moves, he moves, he moves, then Cole can move. So you're a little bit late off the football. Okay, let's see this. Okay, he actually gets off pretty early there. Good job. Okay, 58. Just can't slip like that. Okay, <clears throat> you got a big, big task right there at hand. <coughs> okay, end of the day, though, you can't, can't have that happen. And look how far outside Justin missed it. Okay, and he missed it because he had a guy right in his face, but can still make that throw, at least give your guy a chance. Here we go. First and 10. Motion over three by one to two by two. I like it. Okay, never like playing in a rain game. I don't think I've ever seen Justin wear gloves before. He threw it pretty well, though, for wearing gloves. This was a defensive battle till the fourth quarter when Joe Flacco came alive. Look at that throw. This is impressive to me. Okay, and all it is is we're running a little five-yard. Well, let's motion him over. We're running a little five-yard out route. Okay, you're running a stick route. You're running spacing, and then you're clearing it out with the back right here. So you're one to two to three. He said, hey, you know what? Look at his eyes out there. Okay, vision cone right there on this guy right here. Okay, watch him go off. He knows he's going to take it. Okay, so they're playing this deep third coverage. So he's got flat. He's got flat hook curl, hook curl. Okay, so there's four underneath zones, three deep zones. So it makes it a lot more difficult to throw the ball underneath. But when you have timing and you have rhythm like this, okay, ball's already coming out, which I like. Okay, really good job. Good protection. S sounds easy for a seven, eight yard game. But when you throw that ball right there and this guy's jumping and the ball is right there, whoo, it can be scary for a quarterback because he, if he misses that at all, it's a pick six. 37's like, yep. Okay, good job by Justin for the most part on this play. Okay. See the footwork. Holds his eyes just for a half second. Okay, this eye hold just for a half second allows this corner over there not to jump it and the flat defender not to stretch as far as it would be. Okay, really good footwork. Opens it up, doesn't get caught in between. And oh my gosh, how in the world did he... I mean, look at that. I wish I had a zoom tool. Maybe I'll look into getting more of a zoom tool, but heck of a throw right there by Justin. Okay, play eight. Two by two slot. 
This is pretty cool. This was dime of the day right here. No. How different would the game have been? At least you're in field goal range right there. This is so cool. Like, first of all, th like this is just supposed to be like a, a, a naked route to the right with a slide. So here's your slider. Okay, this 18 right here, he just has a high corner and you have an over route. So you should read one to two. You only alert this corner route versus man. All right, but I want you to watch. First of all, Miles Garrett is insane. Great job by Komet. Okay, Komet did his job. But I want you to watch when Fields throws this football. Four, five, six orange pants around trying to get this ball. He's going on the run. He's going to get smacked. He's throwing them at a high angle. Okay, the DB's taking the under, undertake angle. And it's an absolute perfect dime. This might have been the best throw that Justin's had all year that has not been caught. Really nice throw. That That is called a seal block right here. And you're doing it against possibly the defensive play of the year. So that's a heck of a job by uh, Cole Komet. Your whole point is to get him outside so he can get the edge on the naked, okay? You never like when the over route is in front of this deep corner. Okay, 18 just gets pushed down right there. Free safety's cutting. Okay, DJ Moore, great vision right there by Justin. And then Justin sees this and just says, hey, I'm gonna let it fly. But I want you to watch when he lets this go. Look at all these dudes coming after him. He just lets it roll and, and you know, can you throw it any better? Is that a jump throw that I saw? Whoop. No. He wants that one back. Okay, third and three. Looks like it's man-to-man -man coverage. Yep. Back shoulder throw. Golly, this is on the very next play. Justin was feeling himself this drive. Okay, one, two, three, hold the free safety. And you're just running a simple little go ball, okay? Your switch release into this deep cross, and you're running a post. So he's just reading it one to two, and this big-time post, depending on what happens. But great job by Justin, understanding and knowing where to go with the football. This is the one-on-one -on -one matchup, okay? He holds the free safety with his eyes, and he lets it go. The only thing about this is I, I, if – DJ Moore beats him like this. I was expecting him to throw one of those balls like over the top, but this is even more difficult what he did to throw right there. And I wonder if he was worried about this safety at all for getting the ball up and down for over the top, but this ended up being, I mean, he's got him beat by three. Let's see four, th two yards right there. And I thought for sure he'd be there. This DB actually does a good job staying in phase getting his head around, but the back shoulder, I mean, if you can master that, I don't know if I've seen many back shoulders from Justin. If you can master that, like you're going to have a long career as a quarterback because you want to throw it at the DB's okay, head and when he's not looking, and that's going to end up getting you to the back shoulder. Really good protection right here. Look at that shot. We're going to show it again slow-mo. And honestly, look, like, look, at, look at Justin's eyes. Right. Let me see if I can pause it right there like honestly he knows exactly what he's doing okay he's very clear-minded right here he said hey i'm gonna take three i'm gonna throw this go ball with gloves perfect spiral perfect location and the toe tap by dj moore makes it so nice okay third and six okay this this is play 24. i'm pretty sure they had eight straight plays within the five yard line because there were so many penalties but classic justin right here somehow gets out of this sack and scrambling around finds cole Komet for the toe tap like really good job you see see from this view let's just go through the play what they're trying to do okay so it's a uh out route you're this motion right here hold him down and you want to throw this corner route right here you want to make sure you tie this corner down with this out route okay and then in zone you're going to hit this little option route but they're running with them and 
you know, when you leave the left tackle one-on-one with Miles Garrett, pretty good set just gets by. I have no idea how he did not go down. And a really good job. Watch Cole right, right here. Sees him going this way. Okay, really good break right there. So hard for a DB. This is where most of the big plays happen down here in the red zone. And these touchdowns are these scramble throws, okay? Would have loved to see maybe, hey, 23 move to this side. Let's help with the best pass rusher in the league right now. Okay, leaving one-on-one -on -one right there with 70. Honestly, have no clue how he got out of this. Spins around, makes somebody miss. And is able to go and throw an absolute dot right here. Going to his left. And watch Eber. He's pumped about it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool play on the road. Let's see it from this view because it's so sweet. We'll get three views. No idea how he gets out of it. Makes 99 miss. Throws a dot. Eber's excited. Bears fans are excited. Touchdown. All right. Next play, two by two. We in two minute drive right here. Let's see. Yep, two minute drive. Seven seven. Two by two formation. So in these two minute drives, a lot of times you're gonna get shell coverage, which is like too high or quarters. Very rarely do they play man other than when they get in field goal range. So he's expecting too high. It's what they get. Throws a dime. Okay. So it's pretty much just a one man band. You got this go route as soon as this safety right here goes back to the half. It's over. Clear route. Run as fast as you can through this safety. Okay. DJ Moore, come in there and watch this dime. I mean, this is when you got to throw it. You got to have a play. And we're going to show it from this view, but he eyes, he eyes, Justin eyes this guy to stay there. Okay. And for DJ Moore to come in and slim his route down like this, like perfect throw. He's already throwing the ball. Okay. That's one on one. Watch, watch DJ Moore like shrink his route down some. Really good throw, really good catch. Give them a shot, give them an opportunity. So the only one I'm worried about right here in this half quarters coverage, especially because it's three by side over here, because there's a tight end and a receiver out here. This mic has got to toe the line going here, even though the field has more space. And when he does this, look, he's looking right at him. When he does this, he tries to hold his hold his uh, body position down the field, and it does a really good job holding 44 right there. And he's able to hold him just enough, get just enough air over it, and throw an absolute dime right in his chest in the two-minute drill of all places, too. All right, 14-7 because they got a pick six. <coughs> this is a big, big series for the Bears. Three-by-one formation, DJ Moore. Look at Justin. Okay, going up. We're going to change it. We're going to check it. What are we doing right here? Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right. Cross dog. Okay, checking it. Oh, man, this was tough. So he checked it to just double go. And all that is to me is just got to go, got to go. Okay, you're going to work your one-on-one -on -one matchup. I love it. And you have this like middle read area where you're running to space. Okay, you can tell right here that they're cheating over to DJ Moore. Justin checks to this play because he wants to go to DJ Moore. I like it. Everything's good about it. The only thing I don't like is... Just give yourself, give your guy a chance. Just throw it up to him, especially when you're DJ Moore. Like he just throws this so far out of bounds. And look, I get it, you're on field goal range. You don't want to take a sack. It's third and seven. But my only complaint on this one is just give your guy a chance. I think this view is a lot better um, at it. So you bring this tight end in. Okay, he sees the pressure. Sees this guy cheating this way. doesn't matter. Hold him for a second. It's just one-on-one, -on -one, okay? And if you really feel that way, you do against DJ Moore. Like, look how far out of bounds this is. I would have loved for him to just throw this and give him a jump ball of chances. And I understand that he's trying to, you know, protect the football. And that's fine because the dude hasn't thrown a lot of interceptions at all, really. But just give him a chance right here. That's all you can ask for. All right, 17-7. They were able to make the field goal. Cairo Santos, empty. Okay, you're going to shack this guy back. Nope, just going here. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, this is a sweet call to me. Everyone thinks empty, okay, hey, sort of forget, sort of lull these uh, these Browns to sleep because, hey, there's everyone's got a man. This is a perfect time 
for the quarterback to run because you're only got a five man box. This free safety is the only one you got to worry about. As long as these guys can, can block. I love this. And the fact too, that you're pulling this, uh, this tackle. So it's like a quarterback crack, got a huge block here and you got a lead blocker to come around for this Mike linebacker coming scot free. Thought this was a really, really good, um, <clears throat> call and run as a mix-up. Would have loved to see even more of these quarterback runs. Big number 70 on the move here. Great job once again by Cole Komet blocking and sealing um, Miles Garrett right here. And when you get on the edge right there, 62 is rolling too, man. This was this was an as impressive run as I've seen. Fourth and one right here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, this is huge. How did he not get there? I mean, talk about an amazing play. So I like this play call. They're, they're showing tush push. They're showing everything that you're doing. No, they're not. Okay. They're just faking it right there. You get this guy to crash. DJ Moore, okay, there. And it's a corner. And Justin on this bootleg, he has the opportunity to either one, throw the ball, or two, run. And I don't blame him for trying to run right here. Um because that to me is when he's here, that to me is not open. Okay. Look, I know it's understanding that, Hey, he's going to be open right there. But as soon as you see this corner, like you got to go. And I mean, a hell of a play by this, um, who is that guy that made it, but a heck of a play by tackling him. I actually like this play call. It's aggressive. Okay. DJ Moore is going to try to seal the edge, misses the seal, then go to the corner. Okay, Mooney's ceiling right there. Um, so he's able to get on the outside, but 29, how lucky is that? I mean, it's not lucky. It's a good play, but like usually Justin Fields easily runs for this. I thought this was a questionable spot on the field. Okay, a couple more plays here. 20 to 17, fourth quarter, 32 seconds left. Joe Flacco had thrown three interceptions, came back. Okay, this is a really good throw right here by Justin thought it was awesome needs to be caught bottom line like this ball it needs to be caught I don't understand how you I just look I get it and all they're running they're running these deep like inside release 18 to 22 yard out routes with a through route too so he's working the right side and I love the fact that he's able to get out of the pocket because that just makes the defense break down even more okay really good job Perfect read because this corner comes up on Komet. Okay, throws it to him. Just flat out drop by 13. Look, you can throw it, but you can't catch it too. See it from this view because I thought this view was really good. Okay, you're moving around. What are we doing? Getting outside of the pocket. Okay, great vision. Okay, that's exactly what you need. You need a big chunk to start the two-minute drive right here. Catch it. Just catch it. That's an absolute catchable football. Mixed it up. Okay, and then obviously... The Hail Mary that was almost caught, <coughs> which is wild. This was crazy. Great job. You see Justin look back right there at Miles Garrett just say, hey, man, don't hit me. Don't do that. Look, I love the fact that they're getting five guys. Okay, when you, I want you to see this too. Because when this ball is tipped, okay, you got a bunch of people. You got a guy on the back line. And you got a guy on the front line. This is exactly what you want your Hail Mary to be, okay, in Mooney has the ball oh my gosh like look I, this would have been an amazing catch but ends up an interception like dang look it went on the road wasn't exactly what they wanted look justin c peeling back they're saying hey get miles garrett a uh, perfect throw right here i i thought they were going to win their defense played on real justin just didn't make enough plays at the end of the game look how close this is oh my gosh